Hey Aquarius, welcome to your general reading. This is being published in June but can be viewed at any time. It is a general, so it will not resonate with everybody unfortunately. I do personal readings and my email will be in the description box as always. So let's see what we have going on for you guys. First card to turn over, retreat. This could be the one and true love wow okay it's time to disconnect from the world you've already met the romantic partner you seek true love so i've got a feeling most are probably not together with the person they consider to be their true love here um but you know who it is the one who you want it to be, the one who you truly love. And I say that because of the retreat card here. Um, so I feel like, you know, um, there's separation at this time. There's a disconnect at this time. You may even be feeling disconnected from the whole world because you're disconnected from this person you consider to be the one. your true love here. This is a romance of a lifetime. Okay, so let's see here. We're gonna use the gilded tarot deck here. So let's see what we have going on for Aquarius. Ace of Wands, good. So I feel like you want communication and you're going to have an opportunity for this now. Um, oh, at the bottom there, three of cups. So yeah, I feel like you'd be very happy to hear from this person and um, you want to speak about reuniting if you, you know, have retreated from each other, if you have disconnected from each other. I feel like now you feel like you know or they know, it could be that they know you are the one and you want here to um, reunite and talk about happier things together, make movement with the Ace of Wands. There's going to be an opportunity for that coming up then with the Ace of Wands here. The Aces are always about opportunities in time. So there's going to be an opportunity to talk to this person you consider the one. Okay. Four of Swords. So after healing, after rest from each other, a rest from the connection here, um, I believe you still uh, need rest. Or they do. Maybe you're not sleeping well. Um, so here we see, you know, somebody needing rest, needing to sleep more, needing to heal their body, their physical body. Um, so... The opportunity is going to come, I feel like, you know, after you've had this rest and this time apart here. So it, are you fully healed um, before you communicate with them? I would just, you know, ask yourself if you're fully healed. Oops. So the Seven of Cups and the Magician turned over. The Magician I was looking at at the bottom of the deck as well. And I was going to mention it, but I didn't. But here I feel like um, you may be manifesting, but I feel like um, there's confusion here. Um, so manifesting in confusion or when you still need to heal, um, I'd be a little bit wary of. So I would get yourself right because now you're you're being a magnet you're pulling these things in you have these opportunities coming towards you to manifest them in your life here you may even be using some sort of manifestation techniques um make sure you're fully healed you're not confused be clear on what you want so that it can come forward to you so you can co-create here um, but I feel like you're manifesting an opportunity to speak with them as these two cards are mirroring each other when I place them down. So, you know, an opportunity is coming here. So if you're a little bit confused, 
I would say take the opportunity to heal more. Some people may have manifested quite a lot of offers in their life from romantic partners, but you know which one you prefer here because, you know, it says this could be the one and true love. So I feel like you know which one you could prefer. So the Ten of Wands, um, it's time to lay down this burden. It's time for this burden to end. I would have preferred to see the Ten of Wands and then the Ace of Wands. Um, that way, I know you've learned, laid down your burden and you're ready to move on. Um, letting go of the burden is not letting go of the person. You know, it's letting go of the outcome and leaving it to the divine here. You know, using your manifestation techniques, trusting and believing that it's coming in. Um, I don't really would, wouldn't want you to see you like wanting to manifest and still worrying like oh is it working or something like that and worrying because it'll get you nowhere it actually puts more blocks in the way than you know bringing them in faster so it's time to lay down that burden as soon as you can let go of the outcome this is how um we can get to move forward Queen of Wands, okay, could be um, a fire sign you're dealing with, but it could just be your energy at the moment, um, wanting to take action, wanting things to get moving, wanting this communication to come in, so you're ready now maybe to speak up yourself, um, especially if there have been no movement with the Four of Swords, um, you might be at the point where you feel like, okay, this burden is too much, so I'm just going to go ahead Lay my cards on the table, no pun intended, um, but, you know, um, take action myself rather than wait for them. Could be, you know, you find this person um, very charming, um, very energetic very attractive here see they could be always on the go because the queen of wands she's uh it could be you as well like keeping yourself busy and always on the go because the queen of wands is very rarely sitting at her throne in tarot decks the other queens sit at their throne the thing about that is you can get so busy that you could you know miss somebody actually visiting you at your throne for an example so a good balance of work work and social life and home life is the key if your if work is the burden nine of cups good so um don't be overindulging at this time um you will be supported in what you want to manifest to grow to expand here this is like the minor um arcana for um wishes being granted the nine of cups so you know when we speak of wishes being granted you still have to do the work when the desire is born here so maybe with the ace of wands we see a desire being born and then somebody not taking any action on it whereas you know, if you see the desire being born and then we have the Queen of Wands and you can take the action, then we see the Nine of Cups and the Magician being able to manifest in your life things coming through. Um, we don't, if the, most people, when the desire is born, if they take no movement, you know, we still feel the Ten of Wands and the Seven of Cups of confusion here. So maybe the key here or the answer that you're looking for here is to take action to see your dreams fulfilled here. Knight of Cups. So somebody definitely wanting to make an offer. And like I said, it could be you um, that's feeling this Queen of Wands energy, like you're ready now to take action. So you're ready to make an offer or an offer is coming in here. Maybe you're trying to manifest an offer coming in and this is what 
um, the wish granted is here. Could be a water sign for some. Um, it could be some information coming in that eases your burdens at this time. The devil card. So for some, a Capricorn. Um, but we have all the signs here. Um, so I don't really like to call out the signs, but I know some people do. So with the Capricorn here, it's like temptation getting the better of you. So maybe that's why you end up taking the action. It could be conceived as um, sort of a lower vibration energy to... Um, let the burden overtake you so that you end up taking the action when you're supposed to be working on yourself and being patient and waiting for them to take action here. And the High Priestess. So... You know, you're nobody's fool. You know this yourself. You're going to have that inner knowing if you are supposed to wait or take action. I feel like, you know, um, as this is a general reading and p so many people will watch it, it's all about trusting your gut instinct here. So I hope you do that, Aquarius, as you'll know if you're the one to wait or if you're the one to actually go and take action. So good luck, guys. The star card is at the bottom. It's your choice. Good luck, guys.